Rupper, Krug there, obviously Alex Petrangelo gone. Is it as simple as plug and play? Different players, it would seem. Yeah, they're different players, but I think that, you know, some of the real positives that, that Petrangelo brings, you know, maybe those are strengths for him over Tory Krug, but Tory Krug has some... Um, some things he does better as well. Sure. So, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's going to be a different decor there in St. Louis. But I love the addition of Tory Krug. I love, first off, the power play, what this guy brings offensively, the way he thinks. I mean, don't underestimate what that top line in Boston has been able to do over the last couple of years without number 47. True. And I'm not saying that he's the, the you know, the juice that makes that thing go. But he's a big part of it as well. And you look at the D pairings right there. The bigger thing for me when I'm looking at this is Colton Preko is going to be asked to do more than he ever has. And I think he is suited to thrive in that situation and take some of those big minutes. But the other thing, going back to Tory Krug, he's not a big guy, but he's fiery. I like his passion. I like what he brings. Remember the, the no helmet big hit oh in my the Stanley goodness. Cup Finals? What a shift. I mean, that was incredible. So, uh, I, I love the addition. This Blues team's decor is going to look different, but it's still very talented strength of this team. I love that you brought up Colton Pareko. One of the neatest things we all watch on TV, when you see him up close, he's a mountain of a man. His shot sounds different. There are a few guys in the league. Chara comes to mind. Shea Weber comes to mind. His shot sounds different. What kind of physical tools does he have that amaze you? Everything. I mean, the size that he has, the gracefulness and the way he skates for a big man, um, that shot is, is huge. He's got a great head on his shoulders for the game. He knows how to defend. And I think that we're going to see an upshoot in his offensive ability because of Petrangelo being gone. Sure. I think that when you look at this decor, I don't look at it as, all right, we brought in Tory Krug to replace Alex Petrangelo. I think it's a little more of... We lost a really good player, but we got this gem. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows about him, but he hasn't seen his ceiling yet. He could take those responsibilities left behind.